Hey there! In today's short video I will show you how to run Octofarm on a Raspberry Pi 4. To be honest, this is the second most wanted thing people ask me about. And what they want even more is running Octofarm on Unraid. So expect a video about that soon. But for now, one step at a time, let's go to my PC and let me show you how to set it up on a Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, so before we begin, as a forward, sorry for the occasional background noise, it's a thunderstorm going on, but uh, it has been d doing that for like the last two weeks. It's either me working, sleeping, being with the kids, or there's a thunderstorm going on. So I just decided to give up and do this video anyway, because I've already spent a lot of time figuring out things and stuff like that, and really don't want to waste more time on it. Why I'm talking about uh, wasting time, well, you will see. So first of all, Octoform is uh, at this point is at version uh, 1.1.5. This is the latest version. And um, Jeans has uh, changed a lot. So actually there are new features, but I'm not going, I'm not going into details uh, regarding those features. But instead, uh, what uh, more concerning for us is the installation method and the packaging and uh, actually this whole thing broken backward compatibility so regarding my uh, docker container which was um, working well uh, till the last version well i guess it's uh, time to say goodbye for this container so I bumped it uh, to this current version and it's available on GitHub, but it's not working. So I uh, tagged it and version 1.1.4 is the last working one. And actually I modified this version to be able to run the Raspberry Pi. The new version, well, not so lucky so far. I spent like a week trying to figure out things, uh, how to make it work on the Raspberry Pi and no luck so far. And um, also probably it will be uh, working soon-ish, hopefully. But uh, I guess it won't be from this uh, Docker container anymore. And that is because uh, James decided to bring in their own version. But unfortunately that version won't work on Raspberry Pi. So there's an official Octoform uh, Docker repository right now, which is uh, which supports um, EMD64 uh, platform, which is well pretty much a PC like Linux PC or server or whatnot. Unfortunately, this is not as I said, this is not working with Raspberry Pi, so I still had to make a modified version, and uh, that's what I will be showing you right now. So, when it comes to running Octofarm on a Raspberry Pi, there are two caveats you have to know about. The first is, yeah, you need a Raspberry Pi 4, and let me explain why. So, starting from, I think, version 1.1.1, uh, Octofarm started to use uh, MongoDB as a backend, and unfortunately, MongoDB requires a 64-bit operating system, which is not available on a Raspberry Pi when it comes to its default operating system, called Raspbian. So you have to use Ubuntu instead. And yeah, to run a 64-bit operating system, you will need a Raspberry Pi 4. Now to set up everything like the operating system and Docker and whatnot on a Raspberry Pi 4, I've already published a video about that. So uh, I will just uh, put the link in the description. It also should be uh, somewhere on the screen as a suggested video. Now, the second caveat is very unfortunate. So, you will have to use an older version of Octofarm. This is because a fundamental change that occurred uh, to the latest version. So, its developer decided that uh, he will use a new packaging system. And even though I spent more than a week uh, trying to figure out how to run um, Octofarm used, using that new packaging system, the new version on Raspberry Pi 4, well, I'm pretty much out of luck. So right now, yeah, I suggest you to 
uh, stick to the older version. And unfortunately, no official support for Raspberry Pi yet. So what I can promise is that I will start or actually continue working on it. And uh, we'll come back with a new video when I figure out or when James McKay, the developer of Octofarm, uh, decides to um, do um, an official Raspberry Pi release. I mean, a Raspberry Pi Docker image. Anyway, let's see what you need to do. So, as I said, you need to set up a Docker host on Raspberry Pi 4 with Ubuntu. Let's assume that you have that, have that already. And in that case, you will need a Docker Compose file to have a nice all-in-one solution together with MongoDB and Octofarm. So here we go. Let me show you the file. Also, this will be linked into the description, so you don't have to copy from the screen. So this is for an older version. As I said, the previous version that was released, because current version is 1.1.5, and this is for 1.1.4. And uh, this is the version I have an ARM64, which is which stands for Raspberry Pi 64-bit. Uh, docker image available so you will have to use this docker image i'm right now in the process of uh, updating the docker hub uh, page with this new information but the image is already there it's available so you can use a compost file like this and uh, with a single command you normally use uh, with docker compose you can have this system up and running with the database and Octofarm running on the same Raspberry Pi. So let me show you. And there we go. Actually, if you want to get rid of the, all the console output and you just want to get your prompt back, uh, you have to start with an extra option uh, dash D at the end of this command line. Once again, this will be added to the video description, so don't worry. Point is, on a Raspberry Pi 4, both uh, images, both, both containers boot up pretty fast, and as you will see, we will have uh, Octofarm up and running in its full glory. So here we go. I just entered the IP address of my Raspberry Pi into the browser and uh, port 4000 is the default port of Octofarm, but uh, as usual, you can override it via Docker Compose or the Docker command line you are using. So let's start with the local user registration. No cloud, no whatever here. This is just for your local user. But I assume that uh, if you're not new to Octofarm, you have uh, already figured this out. So just uh, let me guess some username and then a password. Okay, password should be six characters. Yeah. Okay, and now I can log in. And I can start setting up printers. So it means that uh, everything is working because uh, user registration already uses the database. And uh, in case of a database problem, I wouldn't have, wouldn't get here. So without further ado, I think that's it. So as you can see, uh, given that you have Raspberry Pi 4 and yeah, Ubuntu and Docker, setting up Octofarm it's pretty easy. So again, sorry for not bringing you the latest version. Actually, I managed to get it running in Docker uh, with the official container or official image on a PC, but not on Raspberry Pi yet. So stay tuned for future updates. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I try to post every week uh, videos uh, 
about uh, home automation or, or home networking or 3D printing, mostly tied to software like Docker and stuff like that. And also sometimes with 3D printing and DIY electronics. So interesting stuff. Anyway, again, thanks for watching this and hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.